Hello, you're welcome once again to my YouTube channel. My name is Beatrice Chimpi and I'm glad that you've joined me today. And on this channel, we are everything marriage, parenting, motherhood, finance, health, wealth, beauty, fashion, helping women create the life that they deserve and they want. Okay, by sharing valuable tips in those areas. If that is the kind of content that you're interested in, please consider subscribing, click the notification bell, you join the family so that every time a video is up, you're the first to know, and then we enjoy this together. And in today's video, uh, we are going to be talking about the seven powerful ways you can become a better version of yourself. Change is something that sometimes we desire, but we don't know how to go about it. So we desire so many things, but up until we know how to go about how to become them, we are never going to reach there. It is another thing to reach a well and you realize this you know a palace you want to go at and there is a river you staying at the bank of the river and wishing you are up there in your palace is a dream it will only come true if you've taken some steps and so the very first thing that I want us to share in this video uh, that will help us become the better version of ourselves is first realizing what is it exactly that you ch want to change about you do you want to become a better, you know, writer, a better mom? Do you want to become a better spouse? Specify it. Pick it out. Pick out that item intentionally and write it down deliberately and say, I, Beatrice, I'd want to lose weight. I'd want to lose, specify even the weight to lose this amount of kgs. So when you've written out what you want to change about yourself, it will become much easier for you to focus on it. You know, and so reading it every day, uh, you know, uh, thinking about it, this will give you the courage to then do the second point, which is to make a plan. When you point out something that I want to become a better version of myself in this area, it is a broad thing. And so you can never just, you know, tackle it. It has things in it. If you want to lose weight, what is what is it exactly that you're going to do that is going to help you lose weight? If you're going to become a better spouse, if you want to get good health, if you want your finances to, you know, improve, what exactly are you going to do? Break those tasks down and make a plan for it. Making a plan will enable you to know because you will then have specific things that you're going to be doing on a daily to lead you to becoming a better version of yourself. This plan could be, uh, I want to, you know, become fin more financially stable. Look at the areas where you've been, you know, lacking. Maybe a great spender, you're always in debts. Um, I was personally that kind of person. Uh, I feel this year I'm the happiest, more, I'm more free. And this is because I made deliberate decisions about my finances. I never go randomly to do stuff. I make a plan. So if you find yourself wanting to stabilize your finances and you're still running in debts, find out what has been you know my setback what has been the thing that makes me not be a better version of myself in terms of uh, you know finances then work towards becoming the opposite of that be a great saver so those are the kind of plans i'm telling you and then you do them on a daily you know every month i have to, or every week or every day i have to save this amount of money you're going to realize that at the end of the day you're going to be a better version of yourself in terms of finances whichever area you want to improve about yourself number three is starting small one of the things that used to make me, uh, you know, shake and then fear to become the better version of myself because sometimes my things, my dreams were too big and then I wanted to start very big. Those who know me know that I'm an entrepreneur. I love business. I love clothes. I love fashion. I love hair. I love beauty. But every time I would think about those things, I would think of starting a very huge shop in a go. And so what would this cause? It would cause me to go and get loans, which are huge. Then you start a huge business, which then later crumble, crumbles down because you did not 
happen to follow the rules of businesses of starting small. This applies to even other areas. If you want to become a better spouse, just start small. Don't start by bombarding your spouse with a lot of messages because you want to try and become a better lover. Just start small with just, hi honey, just that small. That will encourage you, you know, to go higher. Okay? When you start small, those baby steps, it is going to be more easier for you. It's like, you know, training a kid to walk. You cannot just tell the kid randomly, just start. The kid will be discouraged of walking because, you, you know, you're just pushing them. They are not yet even ready. So starting small is very, very fundamental. Celebrating the small wins. It is not easy when we are becoming the better versions of ourselves to even appreciate the small, you know, the small, uh, you know, achievements. Because you've, not, you've been a great spender, if you're trying to be a better version of yourself in terms of finances, elevating your finances, becoming more stable, even if you save 1,000, you feel like it's nothing. But appreciate yourself. If, you, if, if then you could not even save 50,000 a month, but right now you're able to save 5,000 a month, appreciate yourself. This will push you. Eh? Oh my God, I've, I've saved 5,000 for three months. Let me increase it to 10,000. Like that. Don't start off by saving 500,000 at a go. You will not be able to do it. But at least start by the small. Start with something that you know you will be able to maintain. And then the bigger will come later. Okay? And point number five. Five. Keep track. Keep track of your progress. Have a journal. Have a journal. We all desire, we desire to become the better version of ourselves. But if we don't keep track of what we are really working at, we are never, 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 never going to reach there. I think, to those who know me, um, my thing, sometimes I forget my books here and there, my notebooks. People, I know some people who are close to me have read them. I specifically write, bitches, you get angry so fast. You know, overcome and warrior. So I'm going to start working on becoming more patient. So I write, I'm going to become more patient towards my husband, towards my employee, towards anything. When you journal it down and you keep tracking, how did I do? I have a book I, I bought early on this year and I wrote on it, it's a, it's a self-evaluation book. Because first of all, not many people are going to be there that you will sit behind, before your sister, your mom to evaluate you. Hmm, mommy, how far? How far am I in loving my husband? How far am I in being respectful? How far am I in being good to people, in keeping my money? But I have a book, you can also borrow that. I wrote that book and I, it's a notebook, small notebook, 5,000 or 4,000 shillings. And I wrote self-evaluation book. The areas I want to improve every month, I write them on a page. And every day I go and I wrote down what I really want to improve about in those areas. So if Monday comes, how did I do in terms of saving? Which is, oh, you did, you did not do well. So tomorrow you carry it forward and say, I have to improve in saving. I didn't save. However much I tried, I saw those earrings here and I bought them. And I didn't have to buy them. You know, I yelled at the children, I don't want to be an angry wife, an angry mother. Those, you know, keeping such, you know, tracks will help you evaluate yourself, know where your failures are, and then it will help you improve more. Six, number six. This I took long to learn. I wish I knew. I wish I knew I would be very far. Girl, gentleman watching me. Number six in becoming the better version of ourselves is no one is coming for you. Yeah. You're adding on weight every day. You're becoming the worst husband on earth. You're becoming the worst sister, the worst daughter. You're deteriorating in every aspect of your life. You're decreasing spiritually. I don't know the last time you read the Bible. No one is going to come for you and wake you up, get the Bible, put it before you, and then read it for you. You have to decide and wake up and know that you have to show up for yourself. Okay? That day comes and you don't feel like you want to go to the gym. You don't want to diet. You feel like you want to eat those fatty things. No one is coming for you. Everyone is going to look at you with your heavy plate having whatever. In the morning, you took porridge and bread and cassava. In the middle, you took milk and a donut. At lunchtime, you ate meat, rice, posho, beans. 
in the middle you ask for the lady for porridge she sent you porridge and bread in the night at 10 no one is going to come for you to watch your dad people will be there watching and i made my no one is coming for you show up for yourself stop giving excuses if you want to become a better version of yourself if you look at your friend and they told you you know i'm uh you know so and so i'm saving for this if they see you walking in that you know direction you're going to encourage someone things don't just happen people don't just become good people don't just become financially stable they show up for themselves you wake up and look in the mirror and say bitches this is you know monday I'm showing up for myself. I'm going to work out. I'm going to be a good mom. I'm going to speak kindly to my children. I'm going to respect my husband. I'm going to read my Bible. I'm going to pray. I'm going to have devotion with my children. How whatever it takes, I'm showing up. Number seven, accept setbacks. When we are trying to, you know, become the better version of ourselves, it kind of sometimes sets us on pressure. And you feel like, I have to, I have to, I have to. Sometimes you might fail. Like you wake up and you exercise, you, you wrote, I have to exercise four days a week. And on the second day, either you're sick, you have headache, or you have, you know, muscle pain. Whatever it is that has caused you to set back, don't beat yourself up. If you don't accept setbacks and you want perfection, perfection equals to unrealistic expectations, unmet expectations, and you'll be frustrated. And then when you get frustrated, by the end of the year, you realize that all the things you wanted to become, you know, you've not. Because in the middle, you became frustrated because you, you know, you, you made it so big for yourself to attain. So accept setbacks. If a setback is there on Tuesday, wake up on Wednesday and put on and say, yeah, I, I, I failed yesterday. Today, I'm going to make it. I'm going to be a good wife. Yesterday, I answered my husband, Rudy, today. However much I'm going to try to answer him. Whatever you want to become about yourself, better yourself by accepting setbacks. Don't put so much pressure around yourself. And number, the last one. This is a bonus. Enjoy your life, my girl, my dear. When we are trying to become the better version of ourselves, we feel like we want to set off some, some things like happiness. Some types of happinesses or enjoyments don't require really a lot of money. Hmm? I'll go to dinner with my husband when I, I'll take my wife out when I've finished building the house. When will you ever build the house? The house may even take five years. Poor woman, she'll be there waiting. It is okay to wait, but don't put off certain happinesses or enjoying your life because you're trying to become the better version of yourself just set priorities and know where happiness comes in this happiness is going to actually give you the momentum to go ahead just imagine on weekend you are out with your kids okay and what did you even do you just crossed the road took them to the shop bought some sweets uh showed them around the village you know whatever i'm just saying something that is cost effective so people don't say you know, you're saying that, but I don't have money. There are things that you can do that can bring you enjoyment. We are away with, from our kids for a long time. We are away from our spouses. Just sitting outside on your balcony, on your veranda, and making yourselves a cup of coffee that you've taken long. Don't put off those things that could help you be happy because you're trying to become the better version of yourself. This happiness is one of the things that is going to help you maintain your focus because you're balancing your life. Yeah, work without playmakes. Which is a dull girl. So be happy. As I conclude, uh, change is a matter of fact. Change opens doors to beautiful things. Uh, myself, I'm in the process of change. I'm loving myself more. I'm doing the more things that I used you know, to find it hard to do. I'm trying to be the better version of myself in so many areas, as I will be sharing on this channel. And this has brought a lot of weight down my shoulder. And you could try these tips. You could try this and your life will be much happier, much easier. You'll become, you know, the better you. Okay? And then you'll serve the people around you even more better. You'll be a better mom, a better manager, a better chef, whatever. Wherever, you know, you are. You're going to be a better, a better preacher. Okay? Whatever. So with that, I wish you the best 
in your endeavor in becoming the better versions of yourself let's grow together share in the comment section what is that that you want to work on as a person what do you want to improve about yourself remaining with five months to the end of the year and you know you can choose to become a better version of yourself choose to shed off some stop those things there's no one who cannot lose weight there's no one who cannot save money there's no one who can be a better person me i'm like that i can abuse you cannot even just just you can't even just say that in front of i just abuse you choose to be kind to people <laughs> abusing does not bring anything you know it doesn't add any value to you just find things that add value to you and become better in those areas with that please like share comment subscribe Click the notification bell, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that there is a lady there called Beatrice and she's here for you to become the better version of yourself. Till next time, Beatrice Chimp is my name. Bye.